Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Commander review video, and today we've got a mouthful of a card to talk about, so let's get right on into it. We are talking about Kengi, um, that's how I think it's pronounced, I might be wrong, let me know in the comments below if I'm pronouncing that differently than how you pronounce it. Uh, Kengi, Airy Keeper, uh, Legendary Bird Wizard, 2-2, two -two. it costs 2 generic mana and a white and a blue. And it's got a lot of text here. First, there's a kicker cost of X and 2. A kicker cost is you can pay additional to the original casting cost of 4. And then you will get whatever its kicked effect is, which we'll read in just a second. It has flying. And when Kangi Airy Keeper enters, if it was kicked, put X feather counters on it. Other bird creatures you uh, other bird creatures get plus one plus one for each feather counter on Kengi Airy Keeper. It is important to know that every bird gets plus one plus one. So if your opponent does have a Birds of Paradise on their side of the board, they will also benefit from the feather counters. So bear that in mind. But aside from that, no card rulings. Very cool card that we are going to talk more about. Uh, Murmuration is a newer card from Bloombro. Uh, one of the archetypes from this set was White Blue Bird Tribal. Birds you control get plus one plus one and have Vigilance, which is very cool. And it can make bird tokens for you to help you build that going wide board of crazy big birds. Uh, and I say crazy big because obviously you're going to want to put feather counters on Kangi and you're going to want to proliferate or put more counters on Kangi so your birds get bigger and bigger. And of course, speaking of birds, the deck that I have this card in is a bird tribal deck and it's it was originally just like a generic flying tribal deck where it had sphinxes and other flying creatures, but it is going to shift slowly more into strictly bird tribal. Uh, with the benefit of some additional great flyers. Uh, and then going right off that, this is, was the original deck idea and is a popular deck idea on EDH Rec where it is just flying tribal. It doesn't care if they're birds or elemental cats or angels. We just want creatures with flying to give them greater power, greater toughness, and make a lot of them. And then lastly, a fun, janky deck idea was since Kangi cares about having counters put on it, let's play a proliferation deck. Let's play a deck that cares about getting more and more counters on creatures you control or on permanents you control, or if you're doing poison, on opponents that you are going up against. So this could be a Azorius poison deck. It could be an Azorius flying counters deck, an Azorius bird counters deck. Uh, the main focus of this deck is you want cards that care about counters and proliferating them. That could be uh, Super Friends, that could be uh, Screlves Hive is obviously on the screen here, so anything that cares about that. And that is going to do it for Kangi Airy Keeper. Uh, I did say that you could go a lot of different directions because one of the deck ideas was it just cares about counters, doesn't care what counters they are. The problem with that is there's not a lot of pre-built deck ideas that care about that in just blue and white. Um, if we were to do a Bant deck, that might change a little bit, but as far as generic counters stuff matters, not a whole lot in the Azorius colors, and so really all I had to base this grade of F tier on was its creature types, Bird Wizard, um, the very few deck ideas on EDA Trek, which I think was only like one because it's birds or flying. And, um, and then of course the janky deck idea of like counters matters shenanigans. So that's why this card only has F tier. I think, however, this is one of those cards that you really could go off in a lot of different directions. So there is a lot of potential for this commander to be built around and to have a lot of fun with. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this commander or 
Um, if I mispronounced this card at all, let me know that too. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!